okay, okay, okay. Uh, today is the day that we get hassled by my dog here and also jump into Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. Um, played Tactics yesterday. We're going through... I don't know why the camera's so low. I should fix that. One second. I can fix this easily. I can easily fix this. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, today's the day marker calendars. Uh, I've, I've actually... I've streamed through this whole game in a stream before. So there's that. Um... There we go. That's a little better. Um, we've we've done it a few times on stream before. I made a video about it. Um, so I'm no stranger to this game. This is the first time I'm playing it on emulator. I have it on PS2 behind me, like right now. I can grab the case um, if I wanted to, but <laughs> but I have it behind me on PS2. Um, I have the, in my opinion, the superior version on OG Xbox, which is what I've always streamed before, but I don't have my OG Xbox up here with me. It's packed away somewhere, and I need to actually be able to stream consoles. So, hey, Kyle, thank you for the kind words. Um, yeah, Muggy, I'm glad you've been catching so much of these live streams, too. I'm happy to stream for you guys. It's 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 been really good. Anyway, um, so yeah. My first time playing on a PS2, so uh, actually it is. It's my first time playing the PS2 version and then my first time playing it on emulator at all. Um, like I said, I have it on PS2, but I always play the Xbox version. Um, soon I'm going to get my setup so that I can actually uh, stream my console correctly. Uh, the reason I can is I like I, I have to have head headphones on so I can hear the audio, the mic, the webcam and everything. And all my shit is set up behind me uh, when it comes to console gaming. Um, I have an Elgato and everything like that, but it's just like, uh. anyway, so we're going to be doing it on emulator PS2 version. Um, that's how I'm playing it. Purple Phoenix fire. You're watching from Brazil. Well, hello to Brazil. Oh my God. A fat super chat from Mr. Red already. It's only been two weeks and I've already, and you already love Scar. Is it your first time playing it? I didn't realize it was your first time playing it. Um, that's fantastic. Mr. Red. And uh, I'm glad to hear you're enjoying it. Uh, Skyrim's a fucking fantastic game. So we're going to get this show on the road. Which emulator? It is a PCSX2. PCSX2. My, my mistake. Yeah, and uh, Mr. Red... Again, thank you very much for that super chat. Yeah, that sound, I did that on purpose. Like, that was the plan from the beginning. I was like, I'm gonna fucking <laughs> let the PS2 boot up so that uh, we all get nostalgic about the, the sound. Is it really loud? Let me know if I need to adjust the audio. <laughs> yeah, balls energy drink, let's fucking go, Sean. Dark Magician, good to see you. In the 1950s, it is kind of loud. Of a better world. Somebody's saying Clean, it's fine. Fusion-powered cars, robots that walk the dark. My dollar, big thing is like um, existence thanks to the wonders of science. As long as we it's not drowning me out, people dream always tell me that you know. Broke out. They need to hear me the over the games. Audio is fine. It was the nightmare everyone feared. I'm gonna turn it down just a little. Great war. Millions died there during the first attacks. A few people fled to underground vaults, but many people more were saying it's fine. fell victim to the burning, poisonous air. For those who endured, there was only the wasteland. No order, no law. Only but it's survival. not drowning me out? Good. Right. Radiation and new viruses Here's the intro, the boys. face of life on Earth forever. Fucking heavy metal music. Oh yeah, there, there might be licensed heavy metal music. An army of giants called mutants appear. So if you're watching the VOD, some of it may get um many more to uh, to muted. Their numbers. The Brotherhood of Steel, self-appointed knights of the wasteland. You never have the honor of playing this title. Hey, thanks for the follow over there, Sana. Uh, how would you say that, Sony for hire? But even now, the Brotherhood remains small in number, limited.
united in power. And the dangers of the wasteland only seem to grow with each day that passes. The reused footage from the first titles. Yeah, Nathaniel, I'm glad you caught that. Intro going kind of hard. Yeah, you'll see what the problem is here. <laughs> the charm wears off real fucking fast. I'm going to be Nadia, and I'm going to play on Pansy. Um, the reason I'm playing on Pansy is because I don't want to fucking suffer through this game. I've suffered through it so many times for the sake of the stream, and uh, I want to get as far as we can, as fast as we can. So, What are the roots that clutch? What branches grow out of this story rubbish? Uh, stony rubbish, I already fucked it up. Son of man, you cannot say or guess, for you know only a heap of broken images. Broken. <laughs> Where the sun beats and the dead tree gives no shelter. The cricket- Nah, I fucked it all up. Oh, you can see it. My bad. <laughs> I thought- I thought my- my webcam might have blocked some of it out, so I need to read it or something. Town of Once a yeah, the Dark Alliance games are fucking America. classics. I loved those when I was a kid. It's people the Troll Tube of Fallout. That's an apt life. comparison, Robbie. Carrying minimal supplies. Where in the timeline does this take place? It doesn't. Uh, <laughs> it's not considered canon. I forget what year it. I forget what year it takes place in. But in the wasteland, I could probably just do it. No. Nothing is ever that easy. Like this. Fallout Brotherhood. Oh, you're about to re meet Raider Mommy. This is the best part. PS2 timeline. 2208, 47 years after the first game, 33 years before Fallout 2. Hey! Back in line, slaves. I can't sell you if you're dead, but I'll shoot you in the back if you try to run. I don't want to die. As for you, insects, you better bring those supplies by tomorrow. Wait. You can't do this. We shut your mouth, worm, before I step on you. Yeah, yeah this game has slipknot in it. Yeah. All right, you gorgeous hunks, let's go. And anyone who's too drunk to walk gets left behind. Now move. Hey, where's Frank? Still in the bar. He'll catch up later. Come on. All right, boys, here we go. <laughs> here we fucking go. If you haven't seen this game before, you're in for just a good time. Now, again, this is my first time playing the PS2 version. I did hear that the PS2 version had a bug at the end of it where you can't beat it. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, the Xbox version I was able to complete on stream multiple times. Um, and this is also my first time playing with an emulator. So, if there's some graphical errors, I do apologize for that. Once um, I get my streaming set up for consoles, won't ever be a problem again. We'll just, we'll just stream straight from the PS2 or the Xbox next time. Which is how I did it before. And I could do if I wasn't doing the webcam correctly. So we'll talk to Ruby the Wasteland Prostitute. Oh, you can beat it? Okay. Welcome to Carbon, stranger. Most people are a little spooked because of the Raiders. Some of them are busting up the bar right now. My name's Ruby. I'm what you might call an entertainer. <laughs> What's a nice girl like you doing in a shitty town like this? I've lived here in Carvin all my life. We got raiders and rad scorpions, but I guess things could be worse. Tell me more about these raiders. The raiders control carbon, really. They this game has titty physics, so it's the officially the kill, best one. All right, Patty, if you say so. Ain't all bad, you know. At least they know how to party. <laughs> Not like those soldiers. Yeah, I remember seeing a bunch of people in armor. They didn't pay any attention to me, if you know what I mean. So, I didn't pay any attention to them. This is Fallout in its awkward teenage years. That's how I express it to people, because I see the chat talking about the various visuals we're getting on screen right now. So the way I look at it is that this is this is Fallout in its like coming of age years, like its puberty years. 
as a young as a young teenage boy becoming an awkward adult um there's a lot of there's a lot of uh a lot of depictions like this of uh, female characters there's a lot of uh dick jokes and sex jokes and uh, this uh, this game is not considered canon no <clears throat> and uh so i look at it as like it, it it listens to heavy heavy metal music instead of its parents 1950s <laughs> deep cuts it uh it likes titties and it uh swears all the time and makes a bunch of dick jokes so I always look at it as Fallout's awkward teenage years. Um, and then uh, Pi over here, P.I., just sent uh, a fat $5 super chat. Mate, I'm sad to disagree with you on the show. I'm glad you enjoy it more than I did. They just did the NCR dirty, and now all my effort for NCR is gone. I don't agree that all the effort for NCR is gone. I'll like your your super chat here. Thank you very much for the super chat. I don't, uh, I don't think that all your effort for the NCR is gone. Um... Todd Howard confirmed that the events that, like, uh, the bombing of Shady Sands happened after the events of New Vegas uh, yesterday. I'm going to make a video about that uh, so more people understand. Uh, that's something that I chose to, uh, that, that that I said before, that it didn't wreck on New Vegas. Um, I think if, if, if you're upset that the NCR uh, has gone the way that it's been going, that, that makes sense if you like the faction and stuff, but... It doesn't negate what you've done in the games, in my opinion. But thank you very much for the super chat. I'm sorry you couldn't get into the show. I, I really enjoy the show. Anything little Ruby can help you with? Hey, Dale, good to see you. Well, well, and I thought it was going to be a slow day. I don't have enough money. Party? I don't have any money. Anything little Ruby can help you with? Okay, so she told us about the Raiders ransacking the bar. That's good. And you see that on the mini map in the top right, it's like flashing. Hey, baby. That's how we go into the bar. But we're gonna look around. I think there's a wasteland doctor around here. Katya, is that her name? Something like that. she might appear later. Oh, there's a uh, homie over here too. Well, little lady, ain't you a sight for sore old eyes? I'm Jesse, and I trade goods, all sorts of goods, to all sorts of no good people. Uh, not including a fine young woman such as yourself, of course. Okay. I don't have any money. We have iron gloves and a homemade pistol. So we'll probably just keep those. There's a Brahmin, though. I'll show you the thing that uh, always got me. Like, it always felt the most awkward to me. Who's that? Oh, crap. It's the Raiders again. Everyone, get inside. Hurry. Run for your lives. Okay. Uh, the thing that always uh, stood out to me, and we'll find one here, I'm sure. Is the billboards that feature, well, I mean the Balls Energy Drink. Um, but there's these billboards, okay, there's the Balls billboard. It just seems weird to see in Fallout. But then uh, there's one that uh The Raiders are back to kill us all. Run. This is not happening. There's one that features this the artwork for the happening. original Fallout game, so it just seems super meta to me. Oh, you think it sounds like Pi with another uh, fat $2 super chat. I think it sounds like damage control from Todd. Perhaps maybe, maybe that's the case. Maybe they, you know, uh, had that story planned. I can tell you that uh, with the original uh, design of, yeah, the posters up here. Like, it just has, like, a Fallout poster in it. And I always thought that was weird, because, like, that's what we're playing. So, like, super meta. But, um, I know that uh, one of the original plans uh, from Chris Avalon was to have the NCR pretty much have the same faith that we're seeing in the show. So, I know that the nuking of Shady Sands has been something that has been on the docket for a long time with people who have been working on the the series but i i can also Hi, understand baby. the point of view of maybe you know thinking that uh todd is just playing cleanup but i don't know i like the show a lot like i said vault uh, vault city in new reno yeah we don't know yet Get it! 
teach you to look at me, crabhead. Hey, armpit. Another round of your finest. <laughs> I ain't serving you bastards a freaking thing unless I get paid for the last What happened to the rounds? boneyard? That's just oh, like LA. That settlement that we see in um We're gonna trash in, uh, your place. Then we're gonna kick your ass. The first fallout. And then we'll have another round. Is uh, like I don't I, I don't know what happened to that like specific settlement, um, but uh, usually L A is just referred to as the boneyard. So I mean like you got a lot of room there. Oh shit! Oops. Fuck it. We'll go with the pistol. That's stimmy. There has to be a lock on. Because there was before. Oh, there it is. Oh, you're fucked now. Haha. Okay, so. This is, uh. The gist of Brotherhood of, uh. Steel. Uh, I don't mind if people talk about the show, because uh, Billy wants to know about spoilers and stuff. I don't mind if people talk about the show in the chat. Um, it, it's been, I feel like, a, a lot of the people who... Why am I not taking any damage, or is just, like, it glitched out? And have I not been looting things? I can't tell if that's an emulator problem or if I'm actually just not taking damage. But, uh, no, um, like, you really can't stop people from, you know, talking about spoilers and stuff in the show. I want to see if I take any damage. Oh, okay, I'm taking damage. Okay, I'm just strong as hell. Hi again, dude. So much support. Thank you so much. Uh, do you want me to call you P.I. or Pi? Like, uh, it could go either way. But, um, thank you so much. Show was funny, Bethesda makes me appreciate the OG Fallouts even more. I played 3 in New Vegas first, and the OGs are better. And so, oh, fuck yeah, man. Um, yeah, I started on the OGs back in the 90s. Oh, we're out of fucking ammo here. Um, always have love for them. Uh, New Vegas is, like, my favorite in the series, but the OGs, like, um, they, uh, the nostalgia I have for them is just unmatched. I really like this uh, uh, pinball machine as well. But thank you so much for the super chat. I like that they've added a like feature to the super chats as well. That's neat. Um, and I try to make sure to uh, you know, give them the old seal of approval too. Thank you so much. PI? All right. I'll make sure to not call you Pi again. <laughs> we need to get more ammo for this uh, pistol I have. I think we can open this. There we go. There's ammo in there. Which I think they use kind of I'm pretty sure it's still kind of There we go. We took care of all the raiders. So that's always good. But we gotta run around and make sure we loot everything. And usually you can destroy shit. Spoiler alert, war didn't change, yeah. Those fucking raiders. <laughs> Thanks for taking care of them, stranger. My name's Armpit. Here, have a drink and, uh, on the house. And something extra for working the crowd. We'll do a little bit of uh, interactability with the chat here. First, we have two brands. The Almighty Oreo King. With a fat two dollar super chat, TKS Mantis versus Oxhorn rap battle win. Uh, I don't think he's down for something like that, and I have outgrown it as well. So I don't know if that'll ever happen, but it would be it'd be kind of fun, right? Maybe he'll show up to New Vegas Day. Thank you, Almighty Oreo King, for the fat two dollar super chat. Um, and then also here comes War Boss Bad Smack. 
with a, a fat five dollar super chat. Do you think the <laughs> Do you think to nuking of the NCR is confirming the nuking of both NCR and the Legion that we saw in the Lonesome Road? Not necessarily, because uh, in Lonesome Road we nuke a section of the highway, the a part of the I-15. When it comes to the NCR, they're referring to Shady Sands, their capital being taken out, so it is a bit different. But I, oh, are you talking about the fall? Oh no, maybe perhaps the fall because uh, twenty-two seventy-seven. Um, some other, like, uh, I think the events of the Divine happened before we see it in New Vegas. So, like, there could be some correlation there. Thank you for the super chat. Let me know if I need to elaborate more. Five dollars from Warboss and two from the Almighty Oreo King. But we have a little bit of, um, some interactability coming up for the stream. For the joints today, we have two different brands. We have Elevated, one of my favorites, or Juicy Joints, which is also really tasty. I have multiple flavors of both, but first I think... Um, if you want Elevated, H in the chat. If you want Juicy, J in the chat. And then uh, we'll go from there and we'll decide the flavors. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Oh, uh, the, the Raider Queen? Don't worry, she'll be back. She's like the star of the fucking show. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we got. H, H, J, back. H, H. Dude, Elevated's really good, too. They talked to the mayor, too. then I guess they took off. I don't know. Mayor's out in the town square if you want him. Seeing more <laughs> H's. Armpit at your service. What can I do for you? <laughs> My real name is Arnold. But everyone calls me Arnold. Yeah, I, I so like what? Walton Goggins a lot. This is the first thing I've seen Walton Goggins in was the Fallout show. Oh, yeah, we could do a poll. Well, Fuck, what the hell? Plans, I'm right here. See? Big plans. We'll do brand and then flavor. <laughs> Which brand? Yeah, that's a that's a terrific idea, whoever. Oh, shit, I didn't. <laughs> Which brand? Yes or no? It's a Q&A. Don't listen to that Q&A. Q&A ended. I, I'm sorry, guys. Start a poll. Jesus Christ. Sounds like I don't even need it. What brand? That was a very good idea. And to everybody who's just joining us or maybe new to the streams, I live in Washington State, so... Um, uh, marijuana consumption is completely legal. I'm 36 years old. I found out. I thought I was 37, then my wife corrected me. I had forgotten, I guess. But, uh... We'll have a little voice, uh, vote session on this, and then we'll talk about the flavors. I just like to... Anything I can try to make interactive and fun, I try to do here on the streams. I'm trying to look for more ways to do that, too, because there's some streamers have a bunch of cool shit going on. I'm going to figure all that shit out. I'm just dumb as hell. All right. See? I got this recipe for booze using fermented red scorpion poison. Oh, he's in the Hateful Eight? Yeah, I'm going to have to check out more of his stuff. stuff. <laughs> he's, he's a fucking good actor, man. The contacts are distributed. I think it's wild that uh, Ella poison. Purnell has a fucking British accent. And, like, so, I did for not know it all. She's very good at the American me. accent. <clears throat> I'll pay you a few caps. <laughs> I got me that a partner. Loud. There's red scorpions all over the place, but the warehouse is a sure bet. <coughs> the mayor out in the square can help you get in there. <coughs> Armpit at your service. What can I do for you? <coughs> oh, you're an Oregon. Nice. I ah, do. I love Oregon. The Oregon Outback is like... We drove... Uh, the first time we went down to Vegas, me and my wife took a road trip down there to do Fallout New Vegas Day. And going through the Oregon Outback was like the best part of the fucking drive. It was so good. Um, I've always loved it down there. Nah, those raiders are a bunch of bums. They're Is this Project Van Buren? No. <laughs> He's nice on the eyes, but with a heart like a bullet. <laughs> you know? I'm going, you dick. Alright. We gotta level up. Slayer. Next level plus a 5% chance. And by the way, uh, PI, thank you again for uh, all the support today, man. I appreciate the super chats big time, guys. Alright, so we got Slayer. 5% critical. 20 health or 5% to armor. And we can't even afford those. 
Um, Because bargaining power is highlighted. The almighty Oreo King again. Like how many times we're calling. I like the Vault Dweller uh, starting. But yeah, I can understand. Like, Because uh, like with New Vegas, we get the Courier. And it's a really good way to uh, tell that story. But I, I like the idea of the Vault, though. But I, I see your point. And thank you, uh, Oreo King, for the, the fucking fat $5 there. Fuck it. This is the one we're gonna do. Alright. Oh, the map's all fucked up. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be real fun to deal with in later levels. You're buying the Fallout bundle on Steam right now? You're in for a good time, Mark. Why did they take this engine? I don't know. They did. They stole this engine, though. They they certainly did that. Uh, there was a lawsuit about it and everything. At least that's what I've seen online. There's like court papers and shit for it. All right. Um, I forget exactly what we're doing right now. Find the Brotherhood Paladins. Find them in the town square, apparently. Oh my god. Two fat $5 super chats at, at one time. Robbie coming in hot with a fat $5 super chat. I love all the Fallout games, but I think New Vegas holds a special place in my heart because I was playing it when my runaway cat came home. Oh, nice. It's always nice when you have like a, a, a good memory or something uh, that you can correlate with that. Um, yeah, the Dark Alliance vibes are very strong. Yeah, they stole the engine from that, and it's a super good engine. Those games are fantastic. And then PI with a fat $5 super chat as well. Do you know anything about Warlocracy? Yours and his Fallout videos got me into the OG Fallout. It's the latest visitor on OG Fallout. I, we both follow each other on Twitter. I've watched a few of his videos. Um, I've always liked everything I've seen of his I like. Um, I don't believe he's from the United States. <laughs> and uh, th that's about all I know. Uh, uh, like about him, awesome. but uh, I, I like his Teach I like his uh, videos a lot. Quiet, you Thank you guys back? very much. Did, did Juicy joints win? Let's see. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, cool. So that means that we can get a poll going for flavor. Let me see. Okay, so we got flavor? Question mark. I just have so many of them in front of me that I'm able to do this. Usually this isn't a part of the stream because I only have like one or two of them. All right, so let's separate the elevateds from the juicy joints. Let's see, I have four of each. Elevated, okay, so these should all be the juicies. What is that, tropical, tropical punch? Punch, all right. Pomegranate. Reminds me of uh, The Simpsons when um, uh, Homer makes a car and they're discussing. Uh, fuck, I forget her name. But they want to name a car Persephone. <laughs> He's like, the hell's that? It's, it's like, well, you see, sir, she took three pomegranates. Why do I only have three Juicy J's? What happened to that? Oh, it's right here, probably. Aha! Blueberry Creamsicle. Tamako, yeah. Blue... We're setting up a... A poll right now, for anybody wondering. Alright. So, have fun with that, guys. Pick me out something nice, please. I mean, they're all pretty good, so... I don't have anything to be worried about. Anyway, so they're at the town square, but I'm at the town square, and I don't see any of them. Oh, the mayor is maybe who I'm supposed to be talking to? Usually there's like a flashing thing. 
Oh, you had a dude. My friend had a lung collapse and he had to quit. Sorry to hear that. And also, yeah, Homer's car was peak. I don't know who you are. Vidya is her name. That's right. Vidya. My name is Vidya. I guess I'm Vidya. a town doctor. If you're Grape hurt, is pretty good. I can heal you at no charge. I used to belong to a group called the Followers of the Apocalypse. Followers of the Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I've played the game before, just usually when training, your quest so is there. The exclamation points easy. aren't a quest destination. The exclamation points are just people you can talk to. What can I do for you? I remember hearing about some soldiers in a town a few weeks ago. Yeah, she has back, an accent. I never saw them. Maybe you should talk to the mayor. Oh, Tropical Punch got close. Yeah, we'll keep that poll going for a little bit. That way you guys can uh, decide my fate. What can I do for you? What is the poll about? <laughs> you have no context? Um, it's joint flavor. I have these pre-rolled uh, weed joints, and they're picking the flavor for them. The raiders are a bunch of common thieves led by an uncommonly vicious woman. The townspeople give them what they want because they have no choice. What can I do for you? Goodbye. Okay. Yeah, see, exclamation points are just people you can talk to. These usually flash when it's, like, where you need to go. But, uh, honestly, it is, like, where we need to go, so... I'm probably just gonna jump in there. No, it's not actual juice. I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, where's the fucking mayor? Okay, so this one is the merchant with the one arm, I'm pretty sure. Okay. And then, oh, here we are. Fuck, it was right there. Oh, you know, following the exclamation points like I was fucking told? Let's save. Good day. Good day. You're the stranger everyone's talking about. Somehow I expected more. I'm uh, Richard, the mayor of Carbon. I appreciate your help in dealing with the raiders, but it can only lead to more trouble. I'm the mayor of Carbon. Beyond that, it's none of your business. It's kind of rude. Yes? You're still here? What is it now? Brotherhood. Yes, I spoke with one of your paladins. Maybe I can help you. Yeah, Grape is winning. You're willing to help us in return. So anybody who hasn't voted in the poll, uh, that is the flavor for a pre-roll joint that I have here. Grape is winning so far. Make sure to vote if you care. Um, this is the grape one right here. So uh, we can get that going here pretty soon. Good. The warehouse is just on the other side of the square. Here's the key. I had to lock the building to keep the beasts away from the rest of the town. Come back when you've cleaned out all the rats. Yeah, stores. everybody is, uh... Hey, Rebecca says, love your content, by the way. Thank you, Rebecca. I love you back. I appreciate you big time. I hope rats to have more videos out for everybody. Huge, mutated versions of the pre-war insects. Here soon. Evolution. So sad Persephone brought those changed. pomegranates for nothing. There's I agree. Not much place for humans in it anymore. Is it the rolling... Uh, um, hey, that's a good point. Uh, is the rolling paper flavored? Or what's the fucking deal? Um, I can read you some stats here. 90% THC dissolute and keef. Total cannabinoids, 43%. THC percentage, 39.10. THC 90% dis distillate and keef, and then 100% flour. Warning, maybe habit forming. Unlawful outside of Washington State. It is illegal to operate a motor vehicle while under the influence of marijuana. Smoking is hazardous to your health. All right. Ethanol extraction. It does not say. I think it is just the paper. Because it's just, oh, it's zigzag, though. 
Dude, it smells so... Dude, it smells like... When you, um... Like those old markers from when we were kids? Like, it has that... <laughs> okay, so it smells... It, amazingly like grape. It smells like, uh... Putting your head in, like, a grape... Fruit... Like, snack pouch. So it's probably the rolling paper, but it is just zigzag rolling paper. And hey, Almighty Oreo King, thank you very much. Uh, top tier $2 super chat there. Another settlement needs our help. Well, we can't help him right now because it's Grape 30. All right. Um, grape has won. Yeah, yeah. People tuned in for the janky fallout and, and the smoke sesh. Yeah, it tastes like grape. Ooh, wee. Sure does. Okay. Okay. That last taste in my mouth was like Taco Bell nachos. That was interesting. Anyway. Yes? You're still here? What is it now? Oh, and for people... Wait, you guys voted on it, and like, I just want you to be sure that, uh, you got what you voted for. Seeing grape, juicy joint, we're good to go. Okay. Okay. Rad scorpions are huge, mutated versions of the pre war insects. What if you smoke two joints at once? Take it easy, Bromunculi. The world has changed. Oh, what the fuck do you think much this is? For humans in it anymore. Yes. The raiders bother us from time to time, but uh, we coexist through a mutual understanding. The mayor is a dick. Fuck the mayor. What? How dare you? I have kept How these people dare alive you? for many Get your years hands off the me. Help from any brotherhood. We do what yeah, I got my pins up here, too. To I got a Seattle Supersonics-themed pin. They haven't existed in a while, but I remember. Yes? You're still here? All right. You smoke... Jake Martin, fat $5 super chat, and a uh, longtime member now. I think you've been a member for a minute. I smoke two joints at time at times of peace, and I smoke two times of war never changes. War, war never changes. Yes, smoke two joints, and then I smoke two more. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you, Jake. Uh, that's a good point. You make a compelling point, and uh, thank you for the fucking fat stack there. I appreciate you. Um, we're about to go into the fucking rad scorpion den, man. I am so excited for the people who haven't seen this game to see the fucking rad scorpion at the end of this dungeon and to, s to hear the fucking boss music and to just experience what we're about to experience once we get through this fucking thing. Who made this game? Uh, yeah, it was Interplay, yeah. Uh, they weren't the developer. I think they were the publishers. I... There was some other teams on it, too, I'm sure. Oh yeah, these dogs are getting wrecked in here. We lost one dog. That's too bad. It's one too many. Got him. I think we're out of bullets, though. The dog's all hurt and making sad dog noises. Someone's saying, my ears, is it too loud? If you let me know that it's too loud right now, we can change it. 
turn down combat? Yeah, I can. I'll just, uh. Is there a map view? Yeah. It's in the top right corner of the screen during gameplay. I'm gonna put out the joint here. We got about half of that bad boy. Oh, it's like a little weak on the edge there. I hate that whining dog noise. The gunshots are loud, but the rest is okay. Yeah, well, that might be a problem. Drought. Just by how they've balanced their audio, but we should be alright. We should be alright. got this. We got this. Do we just punch a rad scorpion to death? Yeah. Well, we have uh, iron gloves on. As you can see in the character screen there. Um, so we have a little bit of, a little bit of help. making sure we cover our ground here looking for stuff to loot enemies hide too especially when you got to clear out all of the rad scorpions then you come back and there's like one rad scorpion here I don't think we can go through this door yet Fuck. Oh shit. The map's a little wonky because of the emulator. Like I said, uh We will be playing this again on original hardware. Let's look at my setup all fucking good. I need another monitor or something. Just to, I'm thinking maybe I can just play it through the preview on a different program. So I'll figure it out so it all works right. We'll uh, we'll just play it from the PS2 next time. Straight. I want to play Backyard Wrestling and Backyard Wrestling 2 as well. I've been wanting to make a video on those. Um, so we'll have that. Okay, that's where the dog is. Oh, we got a... There we go. Yeah, somebody's storing a, an ass load of these giant scorpions in here. Hey, there's another Fallout poster and a Junktown poster. Oh, fuck. 
Also, this is the first uh, multiplayer fall. No, that's not true. Tactics. You can do multiplayer stuff with tactics. But you can play this uh, with two players, which was a pretty, a pretty cool feature. I don't know why. Yeah, Penny, one of the games of all time. Here it is. Oh, I accidentally just used the stim pack. My mistake. Medical supplies. Got her medical supplies. Oh, I'm so excited for you guys to see the fucking boss. Just the, the, the people that aren't familiar with it, haven't like seen my video or other videos about it, or haven't played it themselves, or watch anybody on stream uh, get to it. Like, <laughs> it's just the first time you see it, it's so funny. I don't know if it's funny, but some people might have different reactions to it. To me, I was like, okay. <laughs> Oh, only five, five scorps remain, boys. And, uh... Oh. Stimmies. So, we've smashed all of the scorpions in the warehouse. Or at least that part of the warehouse. Bum bum bum. What r which region is Fallout Brotherhood of Steel located at? Right now we are in Carbon, Texas. 23 rad scorpions in this area. That's why I chose Pansy for her difficulty, because uh, I wanted to show as much of the game as I could. and Because I remember the first time we played through it, it took me eight hours, I think, to play all the way through it. Which isn't too bad, but it's like... I'd love to make a video today. Um, fuck, I almost want to put melee skill up. I do like that. I do like bargaining power. Oh, dude, I totally forgot about dodging. Holy shit. It's a whole thing we haven't been doing the whole time. Um, fuck it. It's when you uh, fucking lock on. You can do this. She has a stiff ass Laura Croft maneuver. All right. We're scoping everything out. Yeah, it does have co op, yes. There we go. 
Hell yeah. Oh, here's one of those crazy scorps. I'm doing dodging wrong. Oh shit, we left a tail. Okay, the sweep has gone well. We will now go to the next area. <laughs> yeah, did you see that? You know what I'm saying, right? Like, the, like her cartwheel's very, like, similar to how uh, Lara Croft would do it. That roll was pretty decent. Okay, I like the roll. But that's still another, like, Lara move, like... I mean, it's fine. Other people can, like, do it. But, like, uh, hers is, like, super stiff. Like, her legs are, like, just, like, completely stiff when she cartwheels. It's interesting. Fuck it. Oh, now I'm on fire. Cool. That's definitely what I wanted to happen. Alright, uh, oh! Fuck out of here. Here's something cool we can do too. Break this fucking wall down. All that balls energy drink on the table. <laughs> Celio, this game is fucking amazing. <laughs> I don't think it's as bad as people typically say it is. But, um, it doesn't feel like a Fallout experience. I remember thinking that when it came out. Um, and, even for 2004 standards, I think that's when it came out. Some of the humor is a bit, like, fucking cringe. And I, I'm using a blanket term of cringe here, where it's just like, it kind of makes you just go, uh, you know, like, uh. <laughs> um, But, on a game design standpoint, I'm, not, I'm no game developer or anything, but I do play a lot of them. And, uh, it tends to really start to feel like it's really dragging on after a while. You're just kind of like, god damn, I need to just, like, you have to, for like, I had to force myself to continue going. I was completely uninterested, the gameplay was not fun at that point, I was just fucking done. Um, again, you know, that could have just been me, but it seems like other people have similar experiences, so. Alright. Yeah, and see, and I like streaming this game and making videos about it because, like, uh, still J. Cole in the chat, uh, who well, haven't played it and have never seen it, they can, like, check it out live and, like, uh, ask questions about it, and, uh, like, if they see something, I can focus on it and show them, and, and like, I, th that's what I like about doing this stuff as a job. <laughs> I don't consider, like, streaming my job, but I do consider, like, video production my job, because it's, like, my primary source of income. But it's also, like, all I do all the time, so. Well, not, uh, recently it's kind of been slacking, but. I have been working on a New Vegas fact video, like a part two, to um, the three hour one, and making, um, hopefully making it around the same uh, length. And I've been talking to Zach Finfrock from uh, the, the creator of uh, Nuka Break. And he's also making uh, Nuka Breaking, and I, there was a project I wanted to talk to him about. Got his advice on today. Talked on the phone for like, like two hours today. It was fucking rad. He's a really fucking cool dude. And, uh, yeah, so. Yeah, coming from Fallout. Okay, you get it. Coming from Fallout and Fallout 2. Oh, man. I That was my bad right there. Um, it was just like, it wasn't that it was like super, it wasn't like, oh my god, fuck it, you know, like, fuck this game or whatever. It was just like, that's not what I remember <laughs> Fallout games being like. And it's fine to like, try something new or whatever. It's just, 
It didn't land so much with me. Um, I don't... It's not as bad as everybody says it is, though. Like, it's not the fucking worst game in the world, you know. But, uh... It, it, it does start to drag as, it, like, the further you get. Jimmy, my dogs are fantastic. Everybody's healthy and happy. And, uh, enjoying the springtime. Thank you for asking. My youngest, Dutch, the... Uh, <laughs> uh, Australian Shepherd, Boston Terrier looking fellow. Yeah, uh, he was bugging me a bit before the stream, trying to climb on top of me, but other than that, everybody seems to be pretty content. Have I ever considered voice acting? Yes, and like uh, Mr. House uh, brought up, uh, oh shit, I was going to do some, oh, I was, I'm like invisible there. I was going to do a role in Fallout the Frontier. Um, they didn't like my performance and I didn't like some of their uh, decisions in their mod. Uh, it turned into a big thing, but regardless of that, uh, post that experience, I haven't thought about doing it. Um, somebody actually just emailed me not too long ago and I've been meaning to get back to them about a like, role, like a voice acting role. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if it's something I'm super interested in. Um, the, uh, it, voice acting was something I thought I was going to, because, like, I read scripts all the time for my job with YouTube, making my videos, and I fucking, you know, like, all this other, like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna be, like, good at this, and, like, um, it is so completely different from what I thought it was, like, and I wasn't good at, I'd, I'd like to like learn how to do it better and then attempt maybe to do it because it's always something I'd always I'd like, thought about and wanted to try but it turns out it is much harder than reading a script and fucking you know doing my YouTube videos it, it is a much different beast Nah, man, the fall, of, uh, the uh, the fall of London mod's gonna be fucking amazing. I don't think you have anything to worry about when it comes to that team or the or that mod. It's, I, it's gonna be fan fucking fantastic. Nice. I like that. We have 23 stimmies. What are you doing? It'd be nice if we picked up a different gun. That'd be really dope. Cast me in the next fall. I feel like I could probably act on screen better than I could voice act. But, uh. I'm not an actor. So I do not put, uh, put a lot of stock in any of those types of things happening. But I could play like a dirty raider dead on the ground. Something like that. <laughs> and I and I would feel honored. Oops. I picked up another spiked baseball bat, but not another gun. Okay. Yeah, don't forget to drink Ball's energy drink. Alright. We got a few caps, too. Oh, shit, there's one of the crazy ones. These things are fucking nuts. These Death Stalkers or whatever the fuck they're called. Oops. Oh my god, shoot me. Oh 
Uh, well, I guess I do want to go to the second floor. Boss was in that bed. I always called it like a hard sprite, but a hard sprite would imply like alcohol. But it just like it, it tasted like that to me. Like every time I, I I ever had it. Okay, so the Dutch is bugging me right now. We went. Oh, more lockers. Oh, here we go, another crazy boy. Shit. Oh my god, shoot this. Christ, okay. Give me them stimulus. Oh, Mintat's poster or flag, one or the other. Five rad scorpions remaining on this floor. This area, there's a blades poster back there too. Not the Elder Scrolls blade, but the old Fallout faction. It seemingly doesn't exist anymore. There is music playing in the background. Well, I'm not playing music. Like, there's background music in the game, yes. Actually, the sound... Like, the ambient soundtrack, especially, isn't uh, bad at all. It's us fucking smacking this guy. Yeah, how do you like that? Stubby. I like the part where he killed the scorpion. Yeah, me too. Face melt loon, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'll, you know what, I'm gonna agree with you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's flashing, but we're gonna go this way. Because there's like a crane that we have to move something out of the way with. I'm pretty sure it's up here before we go into the next one. Stubby, humanity could learn a lot from the Red Scorpion Giant Rat Alliance. I agree with you, as usual. Find them. There we go. Yes. I know. Oh, here it is. Oh, wait, that wasn't it. There's another crane like that. Oh, it's probably what this exclamation point is pointing at, actually. And it is.
And I don't think the exit is this way. What's up, Donnie? I didn't see your message. Fallout Dark Alliance is one of your faves there, Gimper. It's good to see you. Okay, yeah. Why would you not just let me fucking go that way? That is so rude. Okay. So... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, w, you see what I'm talking about? The, like, the game's not so bad, but it just fucking starts to really drag on after a while. Like, super fucking drag on. There's a map. Oh, there's more rats. We're getting to it, boys. I hope you're fucking ready. Yeah, any day now. I'm pretty sure uh, he's at the end of this. Like where we're going right now. Holy shit, Stubby. Yeah, dude, I want Taco Bell really bad. But uh, I'm eating chicken breast today. Chicken breast, breast and broccoli. Um, I'm gonna put some curry seasoning, powder, whatever, on the boneless, skinless chicken breast, and it's going to be fucking delicious. That's what it's going to be. That's what's going to happen. Jeez, Louise, there's so many rats. Get out of here. You rat bastard. Alright, there we go. Okay. We're getting there. We gotta go... There was a, a big fucking crate that we couldn't get past way at the beginning. And they have us go all the way back there to fucking... The crane that we activated all the way at the end of the level moved the giant box that was in the fucking way. And we just leveled up. Hello. Yeah, I'm gonna do bargaining power. Fuck it. Okay. Here we go. There he was. That was the boss, boys. Tactics is for sure worth playing. This is worth playing. Yeah, they're both worth playing. Yeah. If, if you're a fan of the games. Just because you can add it to your... Like, I've played these. Tactics is... Tactics has merit, though. Here we go, boys.
Holy shit. <laughs> oh, dude, if you just... If you're just playing it on emulator, it's super worth it. What the fuck? I had to pay high dollar to get these games physical. <laughs> I'm playing it on emulator right now, but uh... That's just because I... It would be a pain in the ass to stream from my PS2 right now. Oh shit, here he comes, boys! And then when he blocks, you fucking go in there, hit him with the old 23 skidoo. Break those claws off. So you can't block anymore. There we go. Chad Scorpion, that's right, Mr. S. He's fucking dead. But yeah, that's the boss. We couldn't tell. Like I said, you either, like, when you experience it, I'm sure different people have different reactions. But to me, like, it did make me giggle a little bit. Um, I do like his design, though. Yeah, I wish we could eat it. The music did make it a million times better, I will say that. 100. <laughs> no, no lies were told. We can probably fuck off. All the maps all glitched out. So is it still glitched big? Yeah. That doesn't happen in, when you're not on the emulator, when you're just on original hardware, the, the artifacts all remain right. Yeah, I gotta take that anti-feral serum. That's right, Alexander. <laughs> Should I add James Hetfield to the voice, the voice acting for the Rad Scorpion? Yeah, for the Boss Scorpion. Yeah, he, they should have. That would have been fucking. Yes. <laughs> when you're right, you're right. <coughs> I remember the Camel Spider Patty. Oh, that dog's still whining. At least it's alive. Now let's get the fuck out of here and never come back. One second. Let me do some fact checking here. I'm just, uh, I'm confirming a theory I have right now. Um, also, can I just, yeah, one second. 
Okay. I'm just scoping some things out here. Hey, um, Danny, um, are you actually Danny Cornwell? <laughs> um, I believe Danny uh, actually worked on this game, if that is really Danny in the chat. And uh, that's, uh, what does it say you did here? If, if, if that is actually Danny, the lead designer of Fallout Brotherhood of Steel is in the chat right now. <laughs> amazing man um well tremendous to have you here um it's tremendous to have you here actually uh i i've been wondering uh trying to get in contact with a developer from uh brotherhood of steel to just pick their brain about it so it's Oh, you're not lead. You worked on missions. Okay, it says on the on the wiki that you were the lead designer. Um, but dude, Donnie, thank you for coming out to the stream and uh, thank you for checking it out. We are playing your game. It is on emulator right now. Um, I've been trying to tell these guys that it looks a little prettier on original console. Not so much when you're trying to like upscale it and stream it, but I like you don't get those the weird artifacting. Um, Obviously, it has a bad rap in the Fallout series. I mean, there's no skirting around that. But, um, I, you could probably shed more insight on a lot of the things than I could. I didn't fucking work on it. But, um, I made a video not, like, a few years back where I actually talked about, it's not, it, it doesn't necessarily get the rap that it, like, like, I feel like it, it, like, people are a little more hard on it than they should be. But, um, there's something about it does end up getting boring. Yeah, so, wait. <laughs> 20 years ago, you forgot so much. That's fair, too, man. That's that's super fair. Um, but uh, it's wild. This is such a... It's, like, such a... I'm, I'm trying to think of the right word for it. Like, it's such a outlier in the Fallout series. You know, it's, like, so it's its own unique thing. Um... So. Now, I didn't mean to like call attention to you in the chat. I guess you were talking about it though. But then I've like really looked at the chat. I was like, wait, is that like who we uh, are are speaking to here? But um, you know what's funny is the thing I like about the game the most is the missions. <laughs> Stranger, how goes your bug hunting? Excellent. Oh, we need to go well, turn these in. Deal is a deal. To uh, the armpit too. Paladins went down into the crater at the edge of what town. aesthetics do I think Bethesda Here's took from this game? Little, uh, uh, I don't know. They're, they're, like honestly, um. That like all of the there's there's some really nice stuff in this game like there's some stuff that I don't get like uh, well I guess I understand but I, it's just not choices I guess I would have made the balls um, billboard I think is self-explanatory they had a deal going with balls seemingly you put it in the game that's fine the meta posters to the original Fallout just using the Fallout's box art I didn't really understand because I thought it was just like. Like it was like the series existing in the series, so it was like it was it, it was really meta to me. But like these kind of posters were really dope. Like uh, seeing like old artwork from the originals, like uh, this Vault Thirteen uh, propaganda <laughs> poster. I guess uh, that might not be Vault Thirteen in the picture, but I remember it being used that way. Um, I really like that kind of stuff. No, I'm not gonna derail the playthrough. No, 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 no. I we just find it really interesting that you're in here, man, because uh, that's a uh, like uh, with the newer games like you know hundreds of people work on those teams and stuff like that so you can you can find somebody who's oh I did this for that but like these were small teams back in the day it's 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 not like you guys had like uh, you know 200 people working on Fallout Brotherhood of Steel you had uh, you know a uh, normal sized team for 2004 um, what I'm looking for is over here. I was mixed up. 
Six designers. Six designers, exactly. It, and that's another thing I don't think people, like, think about when it comes to those kind of things. It's like, <laughs> six people, uh, well, six designers, maybe a little more than that. But yeah, we have a dev in chat, yeah. But, um, which guy used to date your cousin? Are you talking about me or Donnie? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> it's like, who's your cousin? Hey, are you looking at that, that hooker? Well, I, I wasn't staring at her, uh, just her tits. Honest. To be fair, every, I mean, like, I'm pretty sure. Dude, Book of Lab, who's your cousin? What are you talking about? <laughs> Wild. Um, one of my, one of my more favorite parts of this, uh, game is in here, actually. Though, um, I think the character's a little cheesy. Um, be honest, how much help will a Max Charisma build help me in the Brotherhood? How much will, dude, Charisma will, will, can get you everywhere, man. Uh, especially with the Brotherhood. Do I remember Tony? Uh, I remember a Tony. I I never dated a Tony. Like at all. <laughs> Not that I can remember. <laughs> Young Mantis did have Lady Killer. I'm not gonna lie. Young Mantis did have that perk. <laughs> I really did. But Steven, thank you very much for the fat uh, five dollar super chat. Um, how much? Uh, like I like I said. Oh, and uh, mental. Uh, there's so many people in here. Uh, I want to say your name right. I want to say mental, but the way it's spelled, is it mintley? <laughs> like, I just, I want to just make sure I say it right, but it's good to see everybody in here. Um, anyway. I don't recall ever dating a Tony. So, perhaps you had me confused with somebody else. Somebody I dated had a really good friend named Tony, who lived next door. I got it right the first time. Mental. All right, nice. Oh, everything is well except uh, I'm getting <laughs> getting told that I dated somebody and that I was a Chad 15 years ago, apparently. Could you help me find Mr. Pussy? Oh yeah. Did you design this quest here, uh, here, Donnie? Are you gonna take credit for this one? <laughs> My cat. Uh, to be Mr. fair, Pussy. you get given, hey, Mr. Day. Pussy needs to be rescued. Sometimes he goes like, down uh, into the nasty hole next to the bar. Can you find him for me? I don't remember a Tony at all. That's wild. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> Where are you from? That'll help me lower it down. Book of Lab. Let, let me know, like, you don't, like, you don't have to, like, give me your fucking address, but, like, tell me, like, the actual city. Shorewood. I didn't go to Shorewood. And I've never been inside the school. So, this is not me. <laughs> I, I went to, I went to uh, Shortcrest. Like, uh, an adult. Because Shorewood was our enemies. <laughs> Wild, though, that you would lower it down. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna accept the quest. Sorry. Um. I'm trying to think of the times I, my friend that's no longer with me anymore, uh, Bacon is what we used to call him. Uh, he, uh, I remember giving him a pedigree out in the out in the grass in front of Shorewood. I've never been inside Shorewood. Like, you went to school in Everett. God, who are you? Tony's little cousin. I don't even. I don't remember a Tony. <laughs> I don't know. Is that her like full name? <laughs> Or are you shortening it? Like, I don't remember anybody named that ever. I'm usually really good with remembering people. 
get our fucking uh I'm put at your service. What can I do for you? You've been busy hunting rad scorpions. Eh? I'm put at your service. What can I do for you? Ah, that hole's been there since the war. Half the town fell in back then, along with some radioactive goop. Eh, I used to play down there when I was. A I, kid. No, man, I don't think you're lying. I'm just trying to remember who who the fuck you're talking see? about. Cause you already know. You already know too much. Unless you just like looked looked me up on some shit and like are just like saying shit from the area, like that'd be kind of weird, dude. See, I know I know some Johnson girls, but they hate my ass. They've hated my ass since grade school. So like, it wasn't them, dude. I have no idea. I am derailed. <laughs> you you guys did it. You bring a dev from the game in, and then you also start talking about girls I may have dated 20 years ago. I'm, I'm, you definitely popped my attention. Anyway, so uh, this is my favorite part of the game, though I think the char like the character direction was a little. Um, this is uh, we're about to talk to the vault dweller, the player character uh, from Fallout One, the original Fallout. So. Here we go. What's on your mind, kid? I'm a stranger, girl. Didn't your folks teach you not to talk to strangers? No. You never knew your folks. You're a child of the bomb, raised by rats, adopted by the noble knights of the Brotherhood. If you said that to me 30 years ago, I'd have shot you and sold your gear for drinking money. And I'm too old for that stuff. Not allowed you're cool, I just, I'm lost. Drink. What's on your mind, kid? Can you, um, are you guys able to hear what he's saying? Because I did turn down the sound effects a little bit, and I think that affected the voice. Just got into town myself. I haven't seen anyone from the Brotherhood. Except yourself. I used to be in the Brotherhood too. Well, that was a long time ago. Yeah. What's on your mind, kid? It sounds good. All right. Raiders. I've killed hundreds of them. And more keep popping up. As long yeah, this as is the vault humans, dweller from the original Fallout. To cause trouble. Whose grandson um, started Arroyo. If you have any complaints, make sure to uh, yell at Donnie <laughs> in the chat. Now I'm just kidding, Donnie. <laughs> um, no, I like the inclusion of this character, and I love that Junktown pinball machine. Jesus Christ, I love that's one of my favorite assets in any Fallout game. But um, I love the inclusion of this character. I think his like ruggedness and like Clint Eastwood style like personality was a, like again when you're playing through something or in, indulging like movies or whatever you you might think to yourself oh I would have done that differently that's how I feel about that so what's on your mind kid is the game backwards compatible on series I no 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 I'm playing it on emulator um, I also have it on OG Xbox and PS2 physical copies. Um, I recommend doing that if you can. Um, but the emulators uh, for this PS2 version is not too bad so far. That hole? Don't know much about it, and I'm not interested in poking around down there. I've spent enough. You got of my death life threats for this ground. game? Jesus Christ, that's a little excessive. I mean, like it's not my favorite game either, but I'm not threatening anybody about it. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. What's on your mind, kid? Oh, we missed the dialogue about the vault. Fuck. I'm an idiot.
Yeah, No Mutants Allowed does get a little rough. But still, like, I don't think Death Threats is, like, rough. We're going to the crater, boys. We'll play a little bit more of this here. Oh, whoops. Yeah, whatever. Alright. We're in the crater now. My dog is pissed about it. And if I recall correctly, more giant scorpions show up, so they're no- it, like, it's no longer a boss. It's just a fucking enemy. There's always, I, I wouldn't say always, but uh, what's uh, one of the neat parts about the game is there's typically little hidden areas like this that'll most of the time have some pretty good loot. Like we just got armor, first bit of armor. Oh, I didn't sell stuff to uh, Homeboy. Fuck, I was going to do that. But it's our first bit of armor that we got. Oh, we have spike gloves now. So the damage on those, it looks like the bat's still the best. Oh, oh, we got a Beretta. Get the fuck out of here. And a combat knife. How's the combat knife? 11 to 19. Okay, I bet you it's faster than the bat, though. Um, and then our armor. No, we have leather armor. Okay. Yeah, the cap show piles of gold coins. Yeah, um, uh, in the HUD they do, but in this they should. Oh, they're balls caps, uh, which was one of my least favorite changes to the game, which I feel like the dev team probably didn't have a whole lot of say in, actually. I feel like that probably came higher than them. I doubt a developer was sitting around was like, you know, make this Fallout game really good? Changing Nuka-Cola to balls. Like, I doubt there was a dev that, <laughs> that had that thought, I imagine. There was a big corporate thing that was like, hey, we have this thing with balls, and so we're gonna put it in there. Um, again, that's just my assumption. I know nothing about game development. Was... No, I actually know more about this game than I do tactics. Um, tactics I know the least about. I've, uh, I've played this game all the way through more than I've played tactics all the way through. Oh, was Balls in a few of the games? Because then there was, um... Run Like Hell, right? I don't know if that was you, Donnie. Um, 
but Run Like Hell had the pip, the pip bars, the Pip-Boy protein bars, and they might have had balls in them too, I forget. And Red Dead Redemption 2 is the best video game that's ever been made. Oh, that was you too. See, it, Run Like Hell's fucking good. Days Gone's uh, good too, Mr. House. Yeah, I have played a bit of that. But uh, I covered uh, I covered Run Like Hell a couple of times because of the references to Fallout in it. Um, and I thought it was I thought it was a neat game. <laughs> Run like hells in the Fallout universe. My previous comment is not accurate. Fair enough. I can understand that maybe at the time there was thoughts of that or something because of like us seeing the Pip-Boy and stuff like that. Well, and when I say Pip-Boy, the Pip-Boy protein bars is what they were called. Um, I don't think Vault Boy had been dubbed Vault Boy yet. Um, I think Vault Boy got called Vault Boy post Bethesda. Like once Bethesda got the idea. I could be wrong on my Fallout history here. But I do not think Vault Boy had a name um, beyond the Pip Boy guy uh, early on, like that. I could be wrong. That's just off the top of my dome. Yes, <laughs> yeah, everybody. Yes, Run Like Hell and Fallout are absolutely separate games in separate universes. Everyone, please make note of that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've played a couple of Batman games. Uh, not all the way through. I see a super chat came in. Oh, there it is. Shit, I didn't even see that. Um, thank you for the super chat here. Let me, um... Okay, now it's fucking with me. Why are you fucking with me? Um, thank you for the super chat there, P.I. Uh... P.I. says, bro told me they uh, we stopped World War III from happening. I just collaborate gauges. Fuck my life. Yeah, well, that's, uh, you know, hopefully we do. Oh, is, Zar uh, is Zarbot in here? Uh, yeah, Zach, I was just talking about how we were uh, talking on the phone not too long ago. But um, thank you very much, P.I., for the super chat. And uh, I'm glad that we stopped World War III from happening. Uh, yeah, Zach, welcome to the stream. We got... Um, uh, Donnie Cornwell in the chat, who uh, was the mission designer, or uh, what, at least a, a developer for this game. So uh, he's been joining us on this stream and going down memory lane as we uh, check out this 20-year-old. Not always the best received, but um, certainly... Oh, we just found Mr. Pussy, by the way. That was, that was Mr. Pussy. We just found him. Oh, shit. Dead cat quest item. Oh, that's a fucking description box right there. Um, but yeah, welcome, Zach. Zartbot. Uh, Zach here is the creator of uh, the Nuka Break series and is also working on Fallout Breaking, which is a spiritual sequel, is I guess what we'll call it, uh, I think. That'd be an app description. Zach can probably elaborate on that better uh, right now in the works. So, very excited about Zach's uh, Zach's work with uh, the movies and the and the and the fan uh, the the shows that Zach makes. Fantastic. Show. Okay. Mash up these rat scorpions. Actually, to be honest, we don't have to take out everything like we did before. So we could kind of mad dash to the climax of this area to get a bit more of it. We did find Mr. Pussy after all, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, oh! Whoa! Okay. Smash these. these these little cricket things, man. They are brutal. They they will fuck you up. I 
I think that's what they are. Some some kind of cave cricket or something. Oh, whoops. Yeah, we could save. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, a bunch of cave crickets? Good. Just what I wanted. More cave crickets. We haven't even tried this Beretta out yet. Oh, it's a much quieter sound than that other gun, too. So, that's super good. Let's turn that back up a little bit, then. Yeah, sorry guys. Ooh, shit. Everybody can just follow me to... to the end here. I'll smash everybody all at once. Oh, now I'm about to be cornered. Thank you for the live reacts, by the way, I saw that. Okay. I was hoping to just kind of mad dash. Loretta's doing work, though. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I think we're heading towards the end. I get a little confused on uh, this map. Yeah, okay, we're having fun. Dude! Mr. House, I liked the Fallout 76 Battle Royale. The Nuclear Winner, dude, I. Nuclear Winner was my favorite part of Fallout 76. <laughs> they took it from me, and they took survival servers from me. Those are my two favorite things. And I lost interest after that. I believe after this we head to the city. Oh no, that's right. Where's the Slipknot music? Some of it plays during um, boss fights mainly, and at the end. I think Mudvayne's involved too. I forget. But we definitely heard some metal during the Scorpion boss fight. Fuck it.
Ooh, we just got something. We got a homemade rifle as well. So here we go, boys. All right. Uh, we'll do this bit and then uh, see where we're at. No perks in this game? Well, I just selected one. I just uh, boosted my stats by putting a point into one of the perks. Oh, yeah. No, they're confirmed to have a second season for the Fallout show. Absolutely. At least that's what I've heard. Oh, I will have a good one. I will enjoy the Forbidden Fallout there, Zach. I hope you have a good rest of your day, man. That's a terrific dude right there. Oh, my God. Seeing where we're at here. Killing rad scorpions. The rad scorps since 97. Dude, we should. Oh my god. There's so many shirts we can make. That's one of them. I'm wearing a TKS Mantis shirt right now. You can find this on the TKS Mantis shop linked in the description below. Buy my shirts. Buy my fucking shirts. <laughs> Do it right now. No, but for real though, uh, if you're checking out the stream and you like the stream, you like my vibe, you want to see more Fallout gameplay and uh, chit, uh, chit chat, stuff of that nature, make sure to like the stream, follow over on Twitch, that helps out a lot. Um, and for people looking to support more directly, Super Chats, fantastic. There's also um, one of those donation links through Streamlabs in the description. That, that's the thing that counts for the donation on the board on the screen. So if you want to see your names on those boards, that's how to do that. And just thank you for uh, hanging out. Feel free to chat in the chat. I like hanging out with everybody and discussing Fallout and uh, having a good time. Do I sell thick dick pills? Uh, no. Uh, legally, they took them off the market because it was unfair to everybody else who didn't have them. They, the man wouldn't let us re release our secrets. Have I done Tale of Two Wastelands, I'm guessing, is uh, the three days in there? Uh, on stream? No, not on stream. Maybe we should. Fuck, maybe we should. Instead of playing Fallout 3 and then New Vegas, maybe we should just do a Taylor 2 Wasteland stream. Because it's a, it's technically a mod for New Vegas, right? Because if that's the case, then things should work pretty well. Just my Fallout 3, and actually I should do it anyway, because my Fallout 3 has been having a problem. Oh, Donnie, I'll look for your message. Did I make a cringe joke, Donnie? I mean, maybe. I'm not trying to call out any anything. But I don't... I, I'm such a stoner, I don't remember even what I said. That would make you... Making dick jokes. Did I make a dick joke? Yeah, it would make Fallout 3 a lot more playable because, um, mine, I mean, it works, but it's just, you know. Yeah, dude, my Fallout 3, like, it works, but it's not working, like, the way I want it to.
How long does the playthrough of BOS take for me? The last time I played it, it was like eight hours. Um, I'm only going to be live for a couple of hours today, so I'm actually uh, probably going to call the stream after um, we finish with this underground bit here. Um, yeah, it took about eight hours. I think the last time we played through it. Any advice on which one you should start first? Out of what? Oh, out of the DLC? Um, I always do Operation Anchorage, like, as soon as I, um, as soon as I start a new game. Like, I pretty much run down there and do it immediately. So I'd recommend Operation Anchorage. Um, and then, um, The Pit, probably after that. What do you think about the connection between Fallout 4 and, and the, being the guy in the Fallout 1 intro? Well, uh, Emil retracted his statement, but I thought it was fucking hilarious. Here, I, I, my first response to it um, immediately was I retweeted it and just put LOL. Mammals replaced the dinosaurs. Hey, I liked uh, Violetic uh, Puma. I liked him. I don't know what happened. Uh, I, I, I just assumed that he still released content. Your brotherhood paladins Yes, they came to town, but they left suddenly after they uh, spoke with the woman who leads. Yeah, Robbie, Raiders, you you know what's the up. Raider matron. The Raiders wanted your head for what you did to their friends in the bar. This Either game I is not canon. Them, or no. they burned the town. My choice was. Clear. Oh, final quit. Whoa, that's too bad. I'm tired of hearing your foul I like that guy. Attempts or at least I like his videos. I don't like know anything about him. I'm not normally a violent. This man, is not on PC. I'm playing on an emulator. Joy, um, you. I recommend the You're Xbox version, but it's on PS2 and Xbox original Xbox. Oh, did he quit like recently? I will be playing 76 on stream. Yeah, before the 23rd. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, Dark, uh... I don't know if it'll be before the 23rd. Don't, so, don't worry about it too much. But, um, I really appreciate that thought. Uh, if we're live beforehand and you want to do that, right on, but... Collecting my loot here. His grenades will fuck your day up. to escape the crater. Oh, shit. I have a good one, Jimmy. It was good to see you, man. How did he explode? Uh, he had a bunch of grenades with him, so I imagine uh, the explosives he was using all went off at the same time. To make his death even more epic. Ah, uh, fuck these cave 
crickets. Get out of here. Find them. Love it. Those are cool rat scorpions too. You don't see them anywhere else in the Fallout series. So they like shoot poison out of their stingers and uh, they're all green. They have skulls on them and shit. They're cool. Uh oh. Corner. Chad Scorpions. Yeah, you're right about that, Ghost. Oh, let me punch the mic. Um, I think I... I think I'm going the right way. Unless I got turned around. I might have got turned around. I'm not seeing any enemies. Alright. I mean, right? Dude, yeah, Ghost, I played the shit out of Manhunt when I was a kid. I was, like, way too young to be playing that game. Okay. I think we're on the right path. Yeah, because there's the car. Okay. I remember a level was scaffolding. Okay, so I remember... I mean, the warehouse kind of has scaffolding because we were, we were running around at the top. And, uh... Like, the, but then there's... Okay, so the warehouse... The town... Well, there's the town, the warehouse, the town, the crater... The town when everybody's going crazy and the raiders are shooting it up and you have to fight. The city of loss. And catwalks. Is it like the dipping area looking situation around the vaults? Because I remember the satanic vault boy uh, where you can sacrifice and get stim packs. I do remember that. Oh, there's another giant scorpion. Oh my god. was top tier, I will say that. The 
Did I do that shit again? No. Oh my god. This is where we go. I keep getting turned around. Here we are. I guess there's still a bit of the crater we have to walk back through. <laughs> yeah, Dreamcast was dope too. You're right about that, Robbie. Have I drank and balls yet? Um, it's been a while since I've had a balls energy drink. But like I said before, they were not bad. I think they're still. I see it. My mistake. That's too bad. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh shit, we almost ate shit right there. All right. to this. No? I don't go this way. Can't go that way. Can we jump across this? It looks like it doesn't want us to. Can we skip? I don't want to die. <laughs> Here we go. Dust. 
bunch of them. Oh, we are out of bullets. Oh, they're both things. Uh-oh. possible but I don't think so I mean right oh that's not even where we want to go anyway we want to go this way I get turned around in this game all the time what the hell was that Let's see, dual Berettas? Oh my god. Got uh, leather gauntlets as well. Thank you very much. Let me go through the house. What kind of sorcery is this? Oh shit, I don't have anything that is gonna fix that, actually. Fuck. Um, give me ammo, you cowards. Fuck, is that the way to? Oh. Well then, who cares? Uh, that has a fence, right? Yes. This is probably the way. No, this game is not on PC. It's not on Steam or Epic Games. Uh, you can play it on original hardware on PS2 or OG Xbox. Um, there are emulators out there for PlayStation 2. Uh, that's how I'm playing it right now on stream. Um, I do own the physical copies for both versions though. <laughs> okay. We're almost there. We're almost done. Let's get these dual Berettas out. What the fuck? Thank you. Favorite Fallout weapon? Um, I really like the Cattle Prod in Fallout 2. I really like that gun in Fallout New Vegas. Pulse Rifle in Fallout 2. 
the combat shotguns from the classic games as well. Mm -mm -mm. So we'll save here, and then uh, I'll go up. We can see what's going on up there, and then we'll probably call it a stream. How much for the Xbox copy? I couldn't find it online uh, not too long ago, but uh, I have. Uh, I've had mine for a while. Yeah, Jet Set Radio Future is uh, top tier, though, Robbie. I think I paid like a hundred bucks for my copy. The PS2 version is going for about the same. Uh, I I find the Xbox version to be better, Jarno. Look, I didn't have anything to do with your boys getting killed. <clears throat> it was that stranger <clears throat> from the Brotherhood. We're doing the Fallout series in order, so I'm either going to do you? Fallout Three next, or we yeah. might do Tale of Two Wastelands just for fun. I ain't done nothing wrong. Really depends. Really depends. <laughs> Uh, I paid a hundred dollars for it because I got the, the complete inbox. Burn uh, the one that was a hundred dollars was actually sealed. The PS2 move. one was sealed. Um, I think done. the other the other one might have been a hundred bucks, but it like it's in like perfect condition. Has uh, the manual and all that other kind of stuff. Um, I uh, hey there, soldier. I like collecting retro Those games, so yeah. came in. Uh, that, that's what it uh, was on the market for. Wanted to teach me it wasn't even like, it wasn't even really close. I have played tactics. We played tactics before this. Themselves. <laughs> so much for my big plans. I got the recipe for red scorpion tail liquor right here. It's gonna make somebody rich. Uh, not me, though. <coughs> Everyone else. They're in the warehouse. Uh, most of them. When the Raiders started shooting, the doctor But if you don't care about having complete in box, you can get it for like 30 bucks. <coughs> but some of us, well, we was too slow. Make sure to like the stream, by the way, as we're uh, closing down here. You do that. Um. If you enjoyed it, obviously. I got stuff stashed all over. Uh, yeah, next will be uh, Fallout 3 on stuff. stream. Make those fuckers bleed so we'll figure that out. Bit. The only problem I'm having with it right now is it slows down. Hold on. It slows down when I'm like shooting go at people. Warehouse. I'm going to try to just That's run it off uh, Series X <laughs> and then just stream help. it. I'll figure it out. Oh, stupid fucking people. <laughs> Brackets dies. <laughs> And then they do a Metal Gear Solid reference right there with the armpit, armpit, armpit. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for coming out to the stream. Definitely leave a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, follow follow me down to my socials down there in uh, the description. We're getting real fun with the socials. I'm having a, a posting things on Instagram and uh, I, I do posts on X, formerly Twitter, uh, that have updates and stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of thing, Stop on by. If not, fuck off then. And uh, I, I thank you guys all for coming out. Thank you to the people who super chatted. And uh, I will catch you on the next one. It is when it is. Mm -hmm.